You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Hoagland versus Hoagland Jr. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Hoagland, you confessed to having unprotected sex with your husband, Mr. Hoagland, as well as a co-worker within the same time period. That's now you correct. say you're here today because questions about paternity have haunted your marriage since the birth of your firstborn, three-year-old Bentley. That's correct. Mr. Hoagland, you admit you treat Bentley differently than the other two children you and Mrs. Hoagland share. You contend he does not look like photos of you when you were a child, and he also doesn't look like you now when you compare pictures of him to you as an adult. You confess today's result could either save or destroy your marriage. Ms. Hoagland, what's at stake for you today? Well, Your Honor, my marriage has been a complete nightmare. Randy has held this big cloud over my head for far too long, making me feel guilty for something I feel like I shouldn't feel guilty for. Yes, I admit that I did sleep with a coworker, but that was before me and Randy even started dating. But in my defense, it was because she had unprotected sex with him. So this relationship really is in jeopardy. Yes, yes. Your Honor. All right. Well. Take me back. You accuse her of cheating with a coworker. And really knew I liked her from the moment I, I saw her. This guy that she got with obviously took advantage of her and... And why did I get with him? I got with him because your roommate, your controlling roommate at this company, told me that you were interested in dating anyone. The second day that I met you, I told him I was interested in you, and he told me not to even worry because you were celibate. Well, well, so, I was practicing celibacy. I don't think that's a problem. I don't think that's a bad thing. That you the fact of the matter is that I approached you. The point is, is that you should not have went to him first and... You should have he asked me a first. simple question, Randy, if I was interested in anybody on I crew. just feel like she... So the bottom line yes, is you Randy. guys got together, you had sex, but you had already had sex with a co-worker. Yeah. Right. Then but, you find out you're pregnant. But a week prior... I found out I was pregnant prior. two months later. I thought I was only two or three weeks pregnant when I found out. A week... Um, come to find out, my doctor told me I was, in eight, fact, eight. two months along. Yeah, so. eight weeks. A week went by. Oh. Then you came up that day. That, that particular evening, I believe it was a Friday, because he had, he had left for that weekend. Then you came up to my room. But three weeks went by before me and you had sex, right? Okay, but him cheating on her has nothing, nothing to, to do, do with, with the paternity as it relates to well, this child. I'm trying to get down just, to the facts that relate to Bentley's paternity. I have the facts, Your Honor, I, and I would like to present well, them to I you. would love to hear some facts that are relevant to this case. This is the month that I conceived my son. As you can see on the second is when I had an intimate relationship with my coworker. In blue. Yes. And then on the 20th of June is when I started an intimate relationship with my now husband. Okay, and so when is the window of conception? My, I spoke to my doctor and my doctor told me that the window of conception was in this first week of June. So that would indicate that the coworker would be the would be Bentley's father. Yes. And so when you look at Bentley, when he was born, do you think when he, he looked born, like was, you? When he was born, I was happy. But I noticed when after he was probably about four months when we moved, I noticed um, well, a child after it takes like ninety days. I do know that after takes 90 days before they start to really kind of develop what their eyes are going to potentially look like. And Bentley has blue eyes, clearly. There's no one in my family, not even on my mom's side, who, who were very light-skinned, you know, were very fair-skinned. No one has uh, that, you know, blue or green eyes. And his hair, granted, his hair is brown. He probably he gets that from his mom. But um, I have very coarse hair, clearly. Um, he, he doesn't have high cheekbones like me. So as he's gotten older, you can see, I can see more features. Your Honor, that it baby looks, looks like different. his mommy. He didn't look like you even when you were a child. Yes, ma'am. I'd love to say his nose looks like mine, but it even doesn't. I mean, there's really three key f factors for why I doubt it. It's because she didn't use unprotected sex with him. The second thing is his features. And as he's gotten older, he's three years now, I mean, he does walk. He, does, he, doesn't, he doesn't carry himself the same way I did. And I know my mom used to always get on me about how I used to walk. And, and then the third thing is 
you know, obviously is that, um, you know, behind this conception, behind the, the time length. So you have very real doubts. Yes, ma'am. The doctor told you the window of conception, Ms. Hoagland, was the first week of June. Yes, and my due date was March the 19th, and I did not have Bentley until April the 2nd. When I look at him now, and, and I have this image of uh, the guy that she was with before me, he does resemble him. So does he look like your other children? I mean, pre uh, his younger brother, Presley, I mean, they, they have very similarities. As far as the only similarities, it's really, uh... I mean, you're I just... looking up at this child like... He... It's like it's bizarre to you. Do you treat this child differently? I do treat him differently because he is the oldest. I'm the only child. So when it comes to how I want to see him grow up to be a young man, I am going to treat him differently. Your and... Honor, I'm sorry. So that's, that's just a poor it... excuse to me. He treats Bentley as if he's not his son and that he doesn't have to do anything for him. Anytime Randy comes in the room, he goes and sits around right on his bed. There's a question whether or not the marriage can survive because of all of these issues. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Ms. Hoagland, do you believe the fate of your marriage is hanging on the results for today. Yes. So it, it's funny how when, when I mentioned to you just the other week, because we don't live too far from, um, uh, it's a river, it's a, it's a very historic river, it's called uh, Indian Creek. But anyway, I was like, Mr. hey, Hogan, let's go fishing. I don't fishing. need a history lesson know, today about the historic <laughs> river. I need to understand. I know, but she doesn't, she's not painting the picture no, of where No, 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 you're giving me too many irrelevant facts. Interested mm -hmm. in Bentley's life, okay. his life experience, and the issues regarding his paternity. Yes, ma'am. Now you've outlined your doubts, and this is so stressful that all of this drama and stress, it really got to you because you did not show up to your court appearance that was scheduled yesterday. Oh. Yep. That is true. Because this is a lot. That's serious. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Hoagland versus Hoagland, pertaining to three-year-old Bentley Hoagland. Mr. Hoagland Jr., you are Bentley's father. Yeah! What? Yes! Thank you, Judge. You all need to do some talking. Mr. Hoagland, you need to talk to her. She says and so. you need to understand that regardless of what you have on your plate, school, work, anything else, your children come first. Bentley comes first. Yeah. That's on you. I'm hoping you will figure out how to win. Court is adjourned. Mr. Glover. How you doing? The next one. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. State your name, please. Javon Glover. Javon Glover. And now, uh, Ms. Takitha Jackson is your Takitha. name? Yeah. And you all have baby... Two kids. What's her name? Najee. Najee. And how old is she? One years old. Ms. Glover, you don't believe that your son, Javon, is the father of baby Najee either? No, because I feel sorry for Takethea. You know, she had five kids, you know, and none of the fathers is on board. And I only want the best for her, honestly. You're what shaking your head. What are you saying, Ms. Jackson? I say either even her son not even on board either, so we don't even want to hear all that. But I'm on board. But you keep are. stating, but, but y'all keep you, stating you what they're the not grandmother. doing. I'm on you board. didn't lay down with me and have this shit. All right that's then, so he did. Yeah, so, but, I'm but he board. ain't stepped up neither. So don't sit right here and say, oh, I got five kids on the man one and baby better yeah, step up because yeah, your son didn't either. He didn't even, he don't see, I said, I said it. Something. But okay, you let's, 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 let's calm down. He's let's, the father. May I say All something? All right, 
Let's calm down. Now I, I know so. this is a passionate subject. Yes, Mr. Glover, I do want right. to hear from you. All right. All because right. I want to hear about your doubts as to why you don't believe. All right. First reason, Neil, she was in the, well, she, she went to the shower. Her boss called her phone, right? So while her boss called her phone, I was trying to cover for her. So I told him, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to get in the shower. You know what I'm saying? White guy. And he say, you know what I'm saying? Let me come and rub some soap on your back. So you know it's from her boss? Yeah, I see the name. You know what I'm saying? I know his name. You know what I'm and saying? And then I'm you responded to try to cover for her. I'm about you to get... text back, like, I'm getting in the shower and I'm on it's, my way. Exactly. And then he say, let me come rub, rub some soap on, soap on your back. That was his text back. So I went, I, I got, I, I exploded. And I, I went in the bathroom when she was at show her. She threw it off by saying, oh, I wouldn't have wrote nothing like that. I wouldn't. I'm on so, my way. So, I'm getting ready for work. I'm so, on my way. I'm not about to sit here and tell this man I'm in the shower. Okay, Come on so, now. So that that sounds crazy. The next reason was, you know, I feel like, you know what I mean, she admitted to, you know what I'm saying, cheating. When she felt like, you know what I mean, this other girl that called my phone. So you're in a relationship. You are admittedly sleeping with somebody else. You figure out he's sleeping with somebody else. And I did the same thing. So then you did the same thing. Surely did. The reason why you doubt you are the father of this child because you... She admits she cheated, so you know she slept with someone else. Yeah, so... And you think that was during the window of conception? Was that during the no, same time? No, it was in the beginning oh, of the that, month. It was in the beginning of July, but I can see I, my, after all that, my cycle came on, and toward the end of July, me and Javon got back together. She was in her brother's house, butt booty naked. What do you mean? I was no already draw. pregnant with your Hold child on. up. Uh, Mr. Glover, I need testimony, oh. but not... Graphic oh, okay, testimony okay, okay, on that I level. Feel, feel, you understand? I was saying, she, you know what I'm saying? She making it seem like she ain't. And I wasn't butt booting that me that I had a dress on. So the All point right. is, is you got back together at the end of the month. Yeah. Now, Miss Jackson, you admit that once you figured out he was cheating, you started sleeping with someone yeah, else so as I well. Yes, I had to take the sex with him. Was it during the window of conception? No, was it was not. It was in the beginning of July. She admits she was intimate with Mr. Brady, so I would like to hear from him. Jerome, will you please escort Mr. Brady into the courtroom? Whew. Come on with me. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring you right up to the witness stand next to the judge. Don't save her. On this side of me. She don't wanna be saved. Your Honor. Hello, Mr. Brady. How you doing? Thank you for joining us today. We're here because we are very much interested in finding out the truth as it relates to baby Nige's paternity. And Ms. Jackson has admitted to having a sexual relationship with you. Do you agree to that? Yes. Please enlighten the court as to what you have to add. Mm, really, it was a one night stand. We met after like three weeks of talking. We got a hotel room. I had a couple drinks. I remember there were condoms and whatnot, but... Mm. No condoms. There was. There, there was. There were condoms. So you did use protection. Yes. Excuse which me. Which connects with her testimony that she said she had protected sex. Yes, ma'am, Miss Glover. But I don't understand is, like, she just clearly screamed. She never said that he wasn't the father. But she never told me it was impossible of anybody else. It always been, your son is the father. So is. what happened? The bird brought him down in the beanstalk and just dropped him? Because oh. I never knew nothing so about him. let me him. ask you something. Never. When she got pregnant, did you know anything about it? Never. I did, but at the time when I caught her, we, we fell out of contact. So how'd you find mm. out that the baby was here? I didn't, up until recently. You didn't even recently, know? Recently, I got a ma message on Facebook from her telling me we need to talk. So we exchanged number and I called her, she say, I'm gonna have to go to court behind her daughter on your Najee. Because mm -hmm. I could be the father, potential father. All right. Have you met the baby? Yes. You have? So you've gotten to hold her and see her? Yes. So do you think, when you look at her, do you see yourself? Do you think she's yours? Mm -mm. I don't. I think it's time to get the results. Jerome. <laughs> Mr. Glover, what are your hopes? I'm, I'm furious right now, you feel me? You I'm feel just, angry? Yeah. Oh, Why? Because you're saying he hold her and I'll let you feel me. So, Ms. Jackson, mm -hmm. if you knew for certain that Mr. Glover was her father, her biological father, why would you introduce Mr. Brady to Because I know her? I had said something with him in that same month, so... Well, let's not wait any longer. Let's get the results. 
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Glover v. Jackson, Brady, Staten, when it comes to one-year-old Nijay, whether Mr. Glover or Mr. Brady is the biological father. Mr. Glover, you are her father. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Glover, you look happy. Oh, I, <laughs> I am very happy. You are? Yes. Good. She looked like him. She favored him a whole lot. And how about you, Miss Jackson? Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. No, 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 I don't no, have no. to hear these words. Oh, that's not my baby no more. I don't have to deal with it. I've been dealing with it for a year now. I'm done. I'm glad. I'm happy. Good. And Thank I'm you. happy for her, too. And see, the, the, the emotion that you feel, I understand. And this is why this courtroom is so important. Because when you have that secret, when you have that unknowing, when you have that confusion as to a paternity issue, it can wreak havoc on your family, on your friendships, on your relationships, everything. Because people can't trust. They don't know what to believe. And that's why we have to do better. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. And you know what, Ms. Glover? I have no doubt you're gonna keep them all in line. Yeah, yeah, With that I have said, to. I have to. I have court to. is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.